Nearly two years after several Destiny Church branches were supposedly stripped of their charitable status, they are still operating without paying tax. Two of Destiny's charities were taken off the charities register in 2017, but they appealed that decision and the case has been tied up in the courts ever since. The charities are finally due to appear in court again at the end of this month, but Destiny won't comment on what has held things up for so long. Nita Blackperson reports. Destiny International Trust and Te Hahi o Namatamua Holdings, both part of the Destiny International Group, were warned in early 2017 that the Charities Registration Board intended to remove them because of their persistent failure to file annual returns. The charities, which are two of the church's largest, filed formal objections, but the board removed them anyway, saying it was in the public interest. Last week, the two charities finally filed returns for 2018, a year after they were due, which revealed they incurred a loss of more than half a million dollars and their current liabilities exceed assets by more than a million dollars. The group's auditor, Grant Thornton, says the conditions it's facing indicate a material uncertainty that may cast significant doubt on the group's ability to continue as a going concern. Destiny declined to comment on the returns but provided a brief written statement. Destiny Church and its entities continue to work with independent auditors Grant Thornton in the preparation of our annual returns for the charity services requirements. They also warned Checkpoint. Please be advised, Destiny Church and its entities will take action regarding any untruths, unqualified statements or inflated opinions about its entities or finances going forward. Peter Lynham is a retired professor who specialises in religious studies. He says the church faces growing competition in the religious sector. Destiny is not attracting the kind of support it once had. There's a real decline in people's willingness to give and that could well be reflected in the willingness to attend or really the significance of destiny within the South Auckland religious world. But despite the action in December 2017, both charities remain registered nearly two years on as entities remain on the register while an appeal process is underway. Juliet Chevalier-Watts is a charity law specialist at Waikato University and says that's the reality of the legal process. As it stands at the moment, because there is nothing that they have done um, that's inappropriate as far as the court's concerned, Yet, yeah, obviously, we're waiting for the, for, for, um, the cases to be heard. And once those cases then uh, then released, then obviously decisions can be made as to whether they may well be deregistered or to be kept in the register. Uh, to be kept in the register. But as it stands, I think I think yes, it's appropriate they continue to do business as usual and to be carrying out the public good, which is what they're supposed to be doing. She says charity services are thorough operators and will be following due process. I know that the charity services, you know, operates in a very effective manner. Um, overall, and from my dealings with them um, in the past, I've not had, a, I've not seen any issues arising with regard to length of process with way in which they deal things. But you know, with, with some situations, unfortunately, they can be very complex and they can take a long period of time to resolve. You know, information going back and forth, obtaining information. So, and obviously, I've not personally been involved with the Destiny Church side of things, but it may well be that it is entirely appropriate for it for it to have taken that particular length of time. The hearing is set down for the High Court in Wellington at the end of this month. For Checkpoint, I'm Nita Blakeperson.